Welcome back to my channel, Matin Language, and we're going to tackle compound interest present value. So, para natin naanapin yung present value sa compound interest. Now, before we start, clarify ko lang, sa ibang textbook, makikita nyo P for principal or PV for present value. Parehas lang sila. So, makikita nyo sa ibang textbook, gagamitin nila P for principal, yung PV, present value. So, they have the same value naman. And also, for the future value, FV is for future value and A is for the final amount. Again, they have the same value. So, kung makita nyo sa ibang textbook, A ang ginagamit nila, same lang din yun. It can be as future value. Now, let's go to the variables. Ano ba yung mga variables na makikita natin? So, we have FV for future value, PV for present value, and for the number of times compounded, R for the rate, and T for time. Alright, so ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin para makuha ang present value sa compound interest? So we have the formula of present value is equal to the future value, and that's the numerator part, and the denominator will be the quantity 1 plus R over N, at ang exponent mo ay N times T. Next, uh, so review tayo ano ba yung N na ibig sabihin. So number of times compounded for year, that stands for N. Annually, that will be 1. Semi-annually is 2. Quarterly naman will be 4. And monthly will be 12. Ang weekly is 52. At ang daily is 365. Alright, so let's go to the first example. Nori received the matured amount of 8089.09 from an account paying 10% annual interest compounded monthly. How much money did he deposited in the account 3 years ago? So, tinatanong dito is yung present value. Ano ba yung dineposit niya muna para yung pera niya naging 8089.09 at dineposit niya to sa banko na nagbabayad ng 10% annual interest compounded monthly at 3 years. First step, lagi natin yung formula. And after that, substitute na natin yung values. So, again, present value. Sa numerator part, we only have the future value. So, that will be 8089.09. So, denominator naman, that will be the quantity 1 plus 0.10 or 0.1. That's a 10%. You have to change it first to decimal. At ang um, over yan sa 12, kasi compounded monthly, so you have 2 divided by 12. Ang exponent mo, that will be 12 times 3, kasi n times t. So, 3 years, so times 3 siya. Next one, simplify natin yung denominator. So, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng parentheses at yung exponent. Exponent, nadali lang yan. So, 12 times 3, that is 36. Yung sa loob ng parentheses, 0.10, divide mo ng 12. Yung sagot niyan, add mo ng 1, and you will get an answer of 1.0083 repeating decimal. So, paulit-ulit yung 3. Next step, Simplify natin further pa yung denominator. So, yung 1.0083 uh, repeating decimal to the 36 power, you will get an answer of 1.3481 dot dot dot. So, may kasunod pa yan. I suggest kung gagawin mo siya sa calcu, diretsyoin mo. So, 0 0.10 divide mo ng 12, add 1, add to the 36 power para makuha mo yung eksaktong sagot. At lastly, Divide din natin yung numerator part and denominator and you will get an answer of $6,000. So yung dineposit down ni Nori ay 6,000 pesos para makakuha siya ng 8,089.09 dun sa banko na 10% annual interest, compounded monthly, at 3 years to. Example number 2 tayo. Teddy received the matured amount of 27,312.89 cents from an account paying 12% annual interest compounded weekly. How much money did he deposit in the account 5 years ago? So again, we are finding the present value daw. At dito naman, this is compounded weekly. So pag compounded weekly, kailangan natin, ang N natin ay 52. So, first step, lagay natin yung formula. Second, substitute na natin yung values. So, future value natin, that will be 27,312.89 cents. 
That's the numerator part. The denominator, yung sa loob ng parentheses natin, that is 1 plus 0.12. Kasi 12%. Divide mo siya ng 100, that is 0.12. Over mo siya ng 52. Kasi compounded weekly. Ang exponent mo ay nt. So that will be 52 times mo ng 5. Kasi 5 years ago. Now let's simplify the denominator. Yung sa loob ng parentheses, at yung nasa exponent. Exponent muna, that will be 260. 52 times 5. Sa loob ng parentheses, type nyo sa calculate nyo, 0.12, divide mo ng 52, plus ng 1. So, you will get an answer of 1.002307, and so on. So, diretso tayo dapat. Simplify it further pa. Yung answer na yun, exponent natin ay 260. So, magiging sagot mo sa denominator, that will be 1.820859 and so on. Lastly, divide na natin yung numerator and denominator. So, 27,312.89, divide mo sa 1.82 something, and you will get an answer of $15,000. So, yung dineposit daw ni Teddy para makakuha ng 27,312.89 centavos na 12% annual interest compounded weekly for 5 years ay $15,000. Alright, so last example tayo. Thalia received the matured amount of 475322 from an account paying 15% annual interest compounded quarterly. How much money did she deposit in the account 20 years ago? So first up, let's place the formula. At ang second step natin, let's substitute the values. So, lagyan natin sa future value yung 475,322.57. Denominator part. So, denominator part natin, yung parentheses ay 1 plus 0.15 over 4. At ang exponent mo ay 4 times 20. Let's simplify it further. Simplify mo muna yung nasa loob ng parentheses. That's 0.15 over 4. Sagot niyan, plus mo ng 1, at that will be 1.0375. Ang exponent part mo ay 4 times 20, so that will be 80. Yung 1.0375 to the 80th power. So the answer will be 19.0129 and so on. Again, if we're going to calculate this, or lalagay mo sa calculate, dapat diretso. So na natin, 475,322.57, divide mo dun sa sagot dun sa denominator. And you will get an answer of $25,000. So, balik tayo sa tanong, magkano daw yung dineposit niya? Para makakuha siya ng 475,322.57, 20 years ago, at 15% annual interest compounded quarterly, the answer is $25,000. Okay, it's your turn at mini quiz tayo. So, Toasty received the matured amount of 87,735.87 from an account paying 25% annual interest compounded daily. How much money did he deposited in the account 2 and 1 fourth years ago? So I'll give you 5 to 10 seconds to answer this and you may want to pause the video naman and after this I will give you the answer and as well as the solution. And time's up, and the answer is $50,000. So, paano na yung $50,000? Let's solve it. So, first step, lagi mo yung formula. Second step natin, lagi natin yung values. So, present value, yung sa numerator part is 87,735.87. Denominator part natin, yung nasa loob ng parentheses, that will be 1 plus 0.25 over mo ng 365. Mga 365 kasi compounded daily. 0.25 naman kasi 25%. Ngayon, ang exponent mo ay nt or n times t. So, 365 times mo ng 2.25. Saan ang galing yun? 2 and 1 fourth years. Ang 1 fourth is 0.25. If you are going to change it to decimal 4. Let's simplify it further. So, simulan na muna natin sa my exponent parts sa denominator. 365 times 1 ng 2.25, that will be 821.25. Sa loob naman ng parentheses, yung 0.25 over mo ng 365, yung sagot niyan 
add ka ng 1. Now, simplify it further pa, yung sagot sa denominator, yung 1.00 something, to the 821.25 power. So, roughly, you will get an answer of 1.7547 and so on. Dapat diretso yun sa calculator. And lastly, pag divide na natin sila. In numerator part is 87,735.87. Divide mo siya dun sa 1.7547 and so on. Dapat tuloy-tuloy yun. The answer is $50,000. So yung dinaposit ni Toasty para makakuha ng 87,735.87 na compounded daily with 25% annual interest and 2 and 1 fourth years ago ay $50,000. And that's the end of the lesson about finding the present value in compound interest. Ang next video natin will be about finding time compound interest. So this video is a little bit challenging kasi gagamit tayo ng isang function which is the natural log, natural logarithm. The formula for this one, pag hanapin natin yung time for compound interest is time is equal to the, yung numerator part that will be natural log of the quantity future value of over mo ng present value. The denominator part naman, that will be yung n, yung sa compounded, compounded what? Times the quantity, the natural log of the quantity ulit ng 1 plus r over n. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or comment, Simon Kyo, please comment down below. And please, like and subscribe and also click the bell notification. Thank you. Bye-bye.